Hello YouTubers, this is Jacques Gaines from The Moving Icon and I am here to talk to you about a photo shoot I did with a girl named Alexis Maher Langevin. Hello YouTubers, uh, this is Jacques Gaines from The Moving Icon and I am going to stay away from the camera just because I feel like it. And that's what YouTube is all about, just feeling like doing stuff. So I uh, wanted to talk about a photo shoot I did recently with a, uh, a girl named Alexis Maher Langevin. Now, Alexis is a very disciplined sort of uh, circus artist. Her main discipline is, I believe, is what they call Chinese pole. And she also is very flexible, so she does do some contortion work. She is also a voltigeuse, which is someone who flies and does acrobatics. She does a lot of stuff. I just realized now that she does a lot of stuff. She trains, she practices a lot, she keeps in shape, and thus, therefore, has what I like to call a circus body, someone who's very in shape and looks good, takes care of herself and is very healthy. She called me up. She said, listen, I'd like to get some photos done with you. I've seen what you've done and it would be a lot of fun. And we had been working a little while trying to get something done and it wasn't working. And finally, we did get the, the chance to do it. Uh, the only problem with LXC is that she likes to go very au naturel, not au naturel naked, but I mean au naturel where she doesn't wear any makeup or anything. She sort of lives that sort of baba cool lifestyle, really relaxed and stuff, which is really good. But what I realize now is when you're doing a photo shoot, even if you want someone to look au natural and relaxed, you still actually do it artificially with makeup and whatever. Uh, so that's the situation. But it went really well. She had a great attitude. She did a lot of poses. The fact that she was so flexible... Uh, made it so that we could come up with some really, really cool shots for her flexibility. And we could come up with some shots that really made her almost look like not human, like her arm was coming out the her back and stuff like that. It really looked kind of cool. So for that, it was really cool. But again, as you can imagine, the fact that she decided to be natural like that when it came to retouching, it was quite the job. Uh, I have to admit there was a whole ton of retouching. I mean, she had uh, crackly lips. If I had a makeup artist, that would have been taken care of and covered up. Uh, she's uh, So I had to retouch her lips, which takes a good 10 minutes uh, uh, to do her lips. Um Besides that, uh, well, her skin is really fantastic and she's young, so there wasn't that much retouching for that. But, you know, I did what I what I had to do and I learned my lesson. I will insist from now on that everyone come in complete. They have to deal with my makeup artist or we just don't do a photo shoot because it's a lot of work on my side. It really, really is. I used a flash, a Strobe Pro X600 lithium battery pack flash that I just bought from the guys out in uh, Calgary called, uh, I believe it's Calgary, called a Strobe Pro X600. And this thing is just absolutely amazing me. It's making me realize, first of all, that, you know, the quality of a, of a flash is light can change absolutely everything and this thing has done the trick i've been working with speed lights for the past year and i am most likely going to sell them because just this one strobe uh you know comes out with light that's so far superior it's more powerful i can do a lot of stuff with it recently i tried some high speed sync with my strobe pro and the fz 1000 and it went super well this thing is amazing so it was the first time i was really trying out the strobe pro in a fashion photo shoot i used a 72 inch umbrella which i adore this thing just gives beautiful light i also work with a beauty dish which i have now adapted with the bowens mount for the strobe pro and that did an excellent job too so all in all it was an excellent photo shoot and you know without further ado i wanted to just mention a couple of the technical stuff uh, technical things and here you go look at the photos that's the most important thing check the photos out Follow me on Facebook, 
Twitter, Instagram, and all those little social media things. The links will be down below. The link to Alexi's website and what she does will also be below. Uh, if you like the video that you just looked at, please do not hesitate to click the thumbs up. If you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, uh, do not hesitate to subscribe. And don't forget, everybody, keep on making something from nothing. Thank you.